Um, and obviously we never hold our fingers anywhere closer than the neck because that's yep. where people put their lips, yeah, for a drink. So obviously tap, doesn't touch the glass. Sit it down, always, always two to three pours <laughs> in an old fashioned pub. Straight up, beer doesn't touch the head. Head's probably a little bit higher than I thought it might be. Then right up close, quick hit, done, on the bar. There we go. Yeah. All right, was that by cash or card? Card? <laughs> Beautiful. <Excellent>. Good job. <laughs> hey guys. Good, lovely to see you. Yes, how was your cruise? We loved it. But we hope to be back in Sydney in the Fortune of War very shortly. Oh, you guys are leaving, but only for... Are they coming back we'll tomorrow? Be back. No, yes. we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> As far as the tourism goes, I mean, especially with the Americans, I mean, it's, it's, it's doing really well. I mean, people aren't afraid to spend. They're coming in and, you know, and they're, they're having a good time. I mean, I think people are probably going on less holidays, but when they do come out on holidays, they're, they're not afraid to spend. They want to get out and enjoy it and have a look around and, and make sure that they get their bang for their buck. So right across Australia, what we're seeing is uh, tourism's back to about 84% of the pre-COVID levels. Okay, so we expect by, by the end or into 2025, we'll be back at 100% at of those pre-COVID levels, which is, is really pleasing. Domestic tourism is worth over a hundred billion dollars a year. It's, it's quite massive, uh, but encouraging people to come from further afield, that's the real challenge, and that's what we're starting to see. About 40% that come to Australia come for a holiday and the others are you know, educational tourism, uh, working, business trips, things like that. But a good 40% coming here for holidays and spending about 38 days on average when they come here. Five, five more cruises five, booked, yes. Five more cruises, wow. I'm from Germany and I travel around Australia for three and a half months. Have a peace sign, say happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday, mama. I am from uh, Maryland, Washington, DC area. Here visiting Australia for the very first time with my lovely family celebrating my mom's 74th birthday. Um, our first time here, we love it. Uh, we've still got staff shortages, but the, the issues are being, uh, being addressed. Immigration, as I said, with those working holiday makers continu continues to be a challenge because uh, they're the predominant ones. They're the ones that work in our kitchen, they're the ones that are making our beds and they're the ones that we really need to see back here assisting, as well as, as those Australians that uh, see hospitality as a valid uh, employment opportunity. It's going to get tough because the locals just aren't out there. I mean, we just cannot find local stuff, especially in the tourist area. I mean, you know, out in your regional areas, your suburban areas, it might be a little bit easier. But in the city, it's so expensive to live in Sydney, as we, as we all know. Uh, it's really, really tough to try and find staff. So we really rely on those, those overseas, you know, especially during uh, your peak times.
Look, 2025 is looking great for the ship season. There's, there's nearly, I, I think the ships are up about 15% uh, on next year on, on this year. So that for us is, is massive. I mean, ships, if there's a ship in that, in that port down there, it's, a, it's just a massive drive for us. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.